Hey guys, uh, this is United Idiots. Uh, I'm Mason, that's Eli, and this is Q&A! Um, and today we're going to be talking about the most, the best video game of all time, slash the most revolutionary video game of all time. By what we mean by revolutionary, uh, where did the game start, you know, like, when, with the game coming out, what impact did it, did it start on the video game industry altogether? And we're also going to be studying our favorite video games. Um, so do you want to start, Eli? Yeah, sure. With your favorite video game. Start with your start with your favorite video game. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, we're repping our uh, old soccer jerseys from when we were little. Yeah, man. Okay, anyway, my favorite video game would have to be Skyrim. Just for cool. my own reasons. I love the story. I love the free roam and the art and like the RPG and just... I just love it all. I just love, like, everything I do with it. I don't know. Graphics, which actually the graphics aren't great, but, like, just everything about it. Oh. Now for me. Wait, just while I'm saying that, also, I honestly think it's the most creative game to ever be made, so. Just honestly, like, look at all the crap that's in it. Just who could come up with all that? Just. So are you going to say, are you going to say, like, the Elder Scrolls series or just Skyrim? Because, like, it's been a series. They all have, like, you know. Well, Skyrim is my favorite. I never played any of, I never played any of the other games other than Skyrim. I didn't play Oblivion, Morrowind, uh, what's the other one? The Daggerfall, I think, is the second one. And then the first one, I don't know what the first one's called. The first but, one was Arena. Yeah. Oh, Arena, yeah. I didn't play any of those. I've only played Skyrim. I haven't played Oblivion. I tried to play Morrowind before, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I played Oblivion. And my friend's actually, he has a PlayStation copy that he's going to get me for me, PS3, which I mean, he's going to give me that soon. But Alright, keep in mind, I play these games when I was little, so they mean a lot to me. Um, but the old N64, that's what I grew up with, right? These two games right here. Zelda... Ocarina of Time and Super Mario 64. They're my favorite games of all time. I don't, you know, Call of Duty, GTA, uh, even Skyrim. You can just throw all those games in the trash. I would still stick with these. All right, I don't, I don't care. They just mean the world to me. All right. So yeah, those are my favorite video games of all time. So we're gonna start, and we're gonna talk about the most revolutionary games of all time, and uh, the games that started. To the games that made the most impact on video game his, uh, industry. And, uh, I'm going to go first since I went first with my favorite. Okay, okay. You go first. Series. Okay. I just think Zelda overall. I don't think a certain game or anything. Just Zelda overall. Just It just changed the gaming industry so much. There's so much, just It started all the... Like and like you said, free room, but it's like another word for it. Open world. Yeah, open world games. Open so, world gaming. That's what it is. Yeah, open my world RPG games. It's basically started that. It's just my, yeah. just like that. Skyrim's my favorite game ever, and it, Skyrim was actually based off of my, a lot off of Zelda, like the creators even said so, and just all and influenced by them. Yeah, just all the free roam games are so popular now. GTA is like the most popular game in the world. It, yeah. Uh, open just free roam. That wouldn't have even helped and happened without Zelda. So I feel like Zelda is. All right, let me let me go now. All right, so. So Zelda Ocarina of Time, you wouldn't have Skyrim, you wouldn't have GTA, you wouldn't have the Elder Scrolls series, because this game basically started uh, open world and the whole video game industry. And so then I have a second, a second game that I think is tied up with Zelda, and that is uh, 007 on the N64. I don't actually have it, but it was actually the very first uh, first person shooter. So you wouldn't have Call of Duty. Yeah, you wouldn't have Call of Duty. You wouldn't have, what, Medal of Honor. What's, there's all kinds of other. There's tons of first-person shooters. Halo. You wouldn't have any of those games if you didn't have 007. Yeah. So those are the... So Zelda series and 007 are the first... Are the most revolutionary games. They're not my favorite games, in my opinions. But they're most revolutionary games. But yeah, that, that that's it. Uh... 
Leave any uh, questions or topics in the comments below, and uh, subscribe for uh, next week's episode of uh, Q and A or Idiot's Topic. Now we've changed we've changed it to Idiot's Topic now. It's not even Q and A anymore. It's, it's it's called Idiot's Topic. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. Oh.